Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Be good. All right. Welcome to today's stream. We are starting on time today, right at 5 p.m. Um, I know this is two hours earlier, um, but this week is strange because of the stupid uh, night shift schedule that I have to work. So um, I want to start before that happens, just in case, you know, um, the last, uh, I remember uh, one of these times I had a call and I had to like pause the stream and then redo it. It, it was awful. Um, but yeah, um, maybe we'll just stream at 5 p.m. if people like this time better. Um, I guess that's, uh, you know, up to you guys. But yeah, who's here? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's Friday. Happy Friday. Um, not happy for me because I have to work on the weekend. Hopefully, you know, nothing... Nothing uh, bad happens over the weekend in terms of my shift, um, but you know, normally I would say Happy Friday. Um, how's everyone doing? Stuff like that. Uh, wash my hands. You know, it's funny. Um, this says it's. Uh, cooked in about 15 to 25 minutes and even though it says that I know it's still gonna take an hour it always does you know no matter how long the recipe is just <laughs> it takes me double the amount of time all right getting the sort of silent treatment here so I'm gonna uh, assume that's an okay sign for me to start up. <laughs> All right, um, as you can see, uh, we, we got this word again. I still don't know what it is. I'm actually gonna search it up right now. Calabrian, how do you pronounce that? Calabrian, Calabrian. Calabria is an Italian region in Southwest Italy. So it's occupying the, okay. Okay, I see where that is. How do you pronounce it? Um, Google? Google Translate, maybe? Hello, welcome. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce this word because it's appearing a lot in these recipes now. Um, Calabrian pronounce. Cal. Oops, sorry. Calabrian. Calabrian. Cal. What? Calabrian. Calabrian. Did you guys hear that? Calabrian. All right. That's weird. That's a weird way of pronouncing that word. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Calabrian, okay. Hey, welcome. Um, all right, Calabrian shrimp and orzo then, from Blue Apron. Um, I think this is officially the last week of Blue Apron, so um, I still haven't thought of what I want to switch to for um, next week, but you know, uh, I'll, I'll figure that out, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're making. Hopefully it looks something like that. Um, no guarantees, of course. Let's move this back here. That's for tomorrow. No peaking. Cow labor. <laughs> so cow, I will just say cow. Cow labrian. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are our pictures, you know. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to cook like that, but you know, maybe it's not gonna happen like always But yeah, that's uh, that that's how you make this thing. I guess 
Uh, pretty short, actually. Five steps. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Actually, uh, not a huge list of ingredients. I hope I have everything. So what is this? Um, we got the zucchini. We got Randy's favorite, cream fraiche. Um, lemon, hot chili. No, I'm not sure I'm, I'm gonna use all of this. It's, Still, uh, still a little bit hesitant on my spice level. Um, orzo. Orzo is weird because like I, I can't say that I really like it. I, I would just prefer rice. Uh, but orzo works I guess. It's, like I don't hate it. Um, grated parmesan. Okay. Capers. I actually don't like capers because they're weird. They, they taste extremely salty. It's almost like uh, comparable to uh, roe, right? Like a fish eggs, um, it's just I I don't know how to make of it. Um, you know when when you bite into it and it pops in your mouth, and it's just a ball of saltiness. <laughs> Apparently, maybe rich people like it. I don't know. Uh, you know, must be a rich people thing, I guess. All right. So prep seems pretty simple today. Um, but yeah, um, I, I guess I didn't ask how, how, how was your week? How's everything? Oh, welcome, welcome. Maybe I should stream at this time because like, you know, I, don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's 7 p.m., uh, you know. I, I, I don't uh, <laughs> I don't get people. Five five p.m. is not necessarily an early dinner for me either. Um, it's what my um, growing up my parents would uh, feed me dinner at the uh, you know around five to six is when we eat. Um, so it can work. I don't know why I like originally thought seven p.m. is a good idea, but. Um, Maybe just to give me more time to re prepare like recipes or something, but it, it won't really matter if I'm having it delivered. Um, my week is confusing. Why? I have no idea. That's why it's confusing. <laughs> um, okay. What did you do this week? Maybe, you know, we'll, we'll work together and we'll analyze why it's so confusing. Mine's always confusing too, but I know why, because you know, I have too much stuff to do. Adulting is hard. Not as easy as I thought it would be, you know. I. I I still probably wouldn't, uh, you know, take back what I said about, you know, adulting being better than being a student because I'm a terrible student. At least I'm getting paid for being bad at work, you know? You don't get paid for being bad student, you just pay more money, actually. I went to a small graduation celebration on Monday and that's about it. Oh! Wait, so, so, so you graduated, like, this, this year, like, you know, it, you're done, you're done. I've been playing games, making my own, own milk, oh, that, that's such a good idea, I need to make my own milk tea. Okay, one of these days, one of these days. Um, perfect mix of milk, yeah, I, um, I, I've done it before with my, uh, parents, like, um, I, I haven't made my own boba. Um, but, you know, I'm willing to try. Like, you, you can buy those, like, prepackaged ones. Uh, but I guess the mil uh, milk and sugar mixture, as well as the amount of tea, I think. Um, yeah, those three. 
because I like more like the the tea flavor in my um, you know milk tea. A, a lot of the milk tea around um, here, like it's just a bunch of sugar and it's kind of bad. Like I guess people like it that way, like you know the, the sugar flavor. But like I want to have like the tea in the background, like, be able to feel you know that they're using tea. Um, yeah, only high school. Wait, so did you just graduated high school? Holy shit, and I thought, like, for a moment, like, you graduated college or something. Okay, well, you know, anyways, congrats on high school graduation. Um, if you're continuing, good luck on your next four years. Um, I would say it would be, it'll be great, but, uh, you know, I don't want to, I, I don't want to lie. I want to be honest. I want to be as helpful as as I can um, it's not gonna be all that great but hey you can make it better <laughs> if you try uh, I have the zucchini length okay my graduation is next month I only went to one of the small graduation for one of my programs Oh wait, next month. Mm, so, so, like, are your finals done though? Like, cause I remember like, like most everyone finishes around in May, unless, you know, you go to some weird school where they um, finish like late or something. So I think like everyone is like at the point where they're either on their last finals or they're done with finals like it, it runs the same way in college so that's why i know it's like I, i'm pretty sure like high school is around the same um yeah co college mm -hmm. yeah that, that's uh that's definitely a journey Graduated early in February. Whoa, wait, you can do that in high school? Like, I know you can do that in college, but I didn't know you can do that in high school. What? Hold up, hold up. You know secrets that I don't. It's in June. Right, right, that makes sense. But how do you graduate in February, huh? I've never heard of someone doing that. I'm chopping these way too thick. <laughs> I'm not watching when I chop these. It's okay. Thick zucchini. school change our schedule is super weird so they prioritize giving us our last credit and let us finish if you wanted or can stay taking other classes let me think let me try to remember high school days okay because because you're making me feel really old right now by the way um high school what was that like i know like online means like you know stuff changes but like i think in terms of like you know most stuff i think it should still be the same let's see let's see high school was like uh you um you had your cores and then you had your electives yes i remember that um but You would always have cores up to the moment you needed to graduate. Like, like the courses don't finish early. Like, if I'm taking like a math course, like it's gonna last an entire year, I guess. The only uh, things that uh, I guess that you get off early for is um, like, yeah, 
as, as you said, electives and stuff, like if you don't want to take them, then we had an option called um, uh, late arrival or early dismiss, which means, you know, since you're finished with your cores and, you know, everything that you or would need to take for that, um, you know, electives and all that is also done, um, you had those blocks where you can just, you know, leave early, I guess. So we had a block schedule of eight classes and changing online gives quarter semesters to two. Okay, quarter semesters. What am I missing? Core was history, math, everything else. So I'm missing that. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, our, ours um, was not um, quarterly. Um, it was the half, um, you know, happier kind of stuff. Or was it full year? I don't even remember. But yeah, I remember like uh, my last year, like I, I took basically late arrival and early dismiss because I was basically done. I was kind of waiting for, you know, all of my uh, classes to finish. Um, so that was fun, you know, like not having to do anything for half of the day. Um, kudos to those people who actually spent their time and took all these other, I guess, useless electives, but I wasn't going to be one of those people. Okay, so uh, zucchini, quarter, dressed lemon, okay. Okay. But yeah, uh, you know, congrats, you're, you're done. Now now to move on to, you know, four, uh, four years, right? <laughs> Unless you're going to do early on that, you know, um, I, I would have liked to, but it would have been, you know, much of a struggle for me because I'm not good at uh, studying. So, no, I took my time, took the four years. Can even take more if you want. Have you, uh, <laughs> well, you get a, you get a summer off, um, but I know what... I remember freshman year, uh, you don't exactly get the sum the entire summer off because during the summer you kind of have to prep, right? Go through the process of, you know, getting ready for uh, college, stuff like that. Uh, they don't assign summer homework, I don't think, before, but like, but you have to choose your classes, right? And then once you choose your classes and you get into them, then like... A, couple weeks before the classes start they they would send us you know the syllabus um as well as you know uh assignments prior to starting and there was also um what this exam that we had to take for uh or, or at least i i did because i was like trying to place into a certain class or something so I had to take the exam to make sure that, you know, I was competent enough to be in the class. But hey, maybe, maybe it's, you know, maybe it's not too bad, not as bad for you. Have, have you, uh, have you decided on a major? You know, it's, it's an, it's an early, you know, time to be, you know, asking, but, you know. Some people already know. Cloves of garlic. I, don't, uh, I have so many cloves of garlic now because I don't ever use half of these. I decided a long time ago. Pre-med. Okay. Well, it's good that you got that out of the way, but I'm sorry about pre-med. As you know, if you, you probably know how pre-med is. All of my friends who went to pre-med say the same thing. Um, 
but you know, have fun. <laughs> I don't know how hard it'll be for you, but good luck. Hope it's not too stressful. Hope you're a better studier than I am. No, oh, maybe, maybe you have what it takes in you. Uh, I certainly didn't. I didn't even go to pre-med. I, um, I was undecided for like a while because I thought I was gonna do engineering or chemical engineering. And, um, well, because, well, you know, one, you make a lot of money. And second, in high school, I was pretty good at chemistry, I guess. Elements stuff, you know, all of that. So I was like, you know, I don't know what I really want to do yet. Uh, but, you know, since I'm good at chemistry and stuff, you know, why not pay, pay chemical engineering? You know, I, I don't know what I want to do with my life. And then I found out, wow, first, you have to get into chemical engineering. I didn't, I have to transfer in, right? Um, GPA requirement you know, while you're in college is extremely high. So I realized soon that it wasn't gonna be possible. And also I took a chemistry class and completely bombed it. I realized that I'm not really good at chemistry. And then, you know, bouncing around, figuring out what I actually wanted to do. Fun, yeah. <laughs> It's much better when you already know the path because then you can focus on um, like how to get there and you don't have to worry as much about like whether you're wasting your time doing like, you know, certain classes or stuff like that. Because like they say, they say, oh, you should take your time and you should, you know, really decide uh, on, uh, really figure out what you really want to do before, uh, you know, you make the decision. But like, I, I don't know if like, I can agree that's like the best approach because like, that's basically what I did. Like I was bouncing around figuring out what I wanted to do. And it was making a dent on my GPA, um, you know, taking random classes, stuff like that, um, figure out exactly which department I want to go into. And then I finally decided, oh, I want to go into business. But by then, you know, my GPA is already, you know, bad shit at that point um and trying to i guess recover it um was a pretty strenuous process and well let's just say uh i didn't have enough time <laughs> Reset the camera. All right, have to reset this camera every, uh, 30 minutes or else it automatically turns off because I think of some overheating um, feature but yeah um yeah because like like I, I will like I definitely like know that I'm not great at like studying for um, exams and stuff I was never good at it so like only after did i find find out well you know the way to raise your gpa at this point is you have to take a bunch of those gpa farming classes electives stuff like that and then you have to take your core uh classes outside the university at some community college where it's really easy to get an a and then transfer that uh credit over and that's what a lot of people actually did to be able to transfer into the business school. Um, because, you know, like taking it at the actual university that I was at was dumb. Because 
it's just too hard to get an A in. So, uh, I mean, would have been helpful to figure that out early, but hey. I wouldn't be here if I... I probably wouldn't be here if I uh, went to uh, business school. Cause and effect. No, I, I wouldn't say, you know, life is the worst right now, so maybe it all ended up okay. Hey, peeling this garlic. Why is it being so tough on me? Okay, but but let's let's not focus on you know uh, negatives. Um, <laughs> let's not focus on negatives. Um, you're about to start, you know. A pretty cool journey whether it's online or um, why you gotta lie you know you love spending time teaching us how to cook I'm not teaching you guys how to cook I'm showing you how not to cook although the only thing I can impart from these streams is that you should use butter when you're cooking because butter makes everything better but other than that then you know everything that I say is BS but yeah, I was as I was saying, you know, I don't want to be negative about college because you're about to start it. And to a lot of people, it's actually not a negative experience. To me, because uh, you know, I'm I'm a negative person, I guess. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do, right? Like, like I wouldn't say like you know I regretted it because it. It was an experience. Like you're paying, you're paying for the experience. So you should at least try uh, to enjoy yourself. Cause like if all you do is like end up like studying for classes and then going to classes and that's it, you know, for your entire four years. Um. I wouldn't say that's the best way to do college either. Because yeah, you're paying for the classes, but like the reason you pay so much for the classes is for the experience as well. Like in the end, you're getting a piece of paper that tells um, companies that, oh, you are um, at least good enough to get through college, so they might consider hiring you or whatever. But like, why is that paper so much money? Well, because, you know, I guess colleges offer the lifestyle and experience. Though hopefully you don't have to spend all of it online. That that would kind of suck. Am I supposed to be missing these? these? Peel and roughly chop. Okay, roughly chop. So I'll just miss this. Yeah, did they uh did they tell you whether your college is gonna like be online or like you're gonna be able to take classes in person or like what is that gonna be like? So I think we're at that point where like it's probably starting to be okay um, to say the fall semester you know students can be on campus and take classes in person maybe. They're planning for in-person this fall, but might not, but might be offering online. Vaccines are required in order to be in campus. Okay. Gotcha. So you have to have the government tracker in your body to be able to, um, you know, <laughs> to be able to go to class in person. Gotcha, gotcha. Understood. 
<laughs> so which one are you gonna choose? couple years and I'll, I'll have to fight you one day but you know that's a conversation for another time If you turn into a zombie, you're gonna try and kill me anyways. That's the thing. Like, so it really depends on whether I can actually, you know, kill the zombies that come after me. Too close, garlic. Um, okay, okay. Alright, so I can actually do the shrimp now. Here's our lovely shrimp, by the way. Although their packaging sucks for everything else, their packaging for me is pretty cool, I guess. Airtight sealed. Um, but yeah, like, well, I, I guess like, what what are what what are you gonna? I guess what do you what are you gonna do besides uh, you know taking your classes? I think everyone has plans for their like first year and stuff like that. Clubs, uh, fraternities, sororities, stuff like that. parties I'm talking as if I know what that was like but I really did waste a lot of like my time in college so that's from hearsay <laughs> I mean I do art as a hobby and love to sing so hopefully I oh okay all right so when you become a famous singer and everything Please don't forget, you know, please invite me to at least one concert. I play violin. Oh, shit. So you have like, you have all the skills. Damn. <sighs> Art. Right, and then singing, and then violin, and then volleyball. That's four. Wow, that, that's that, that's a uh, that's that would be ambitious if you attempted to do all of those. Old <laughs> I was gonna ask you if you went to parties in the club. Um, yeah, I didn't really do any of that. <laughs> I, I had a club that I did join. It was a volunteering club that uh, I, I went uh, where we would uh, help the community and stuff like that. But really, it was about the free food. Because they had free food at every one of those meetings, and I loved it. Uh, I don't like working out, so volleyball is... I take it in. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I mean, I didn't like working out either until I was forced to because like you realize that PE courses are the easiest A's ever. Although they are like for for us, they're one credit, so they're weighed less. So what you would have to do to actually get the GPA bump is by taking a bunch of PE courses. So uh, for me, it was weightlifting and aerobic walking. Aerobic meaning with air versus, you know, in, in uh, common misconception is, you know, in aerobic walking is without air. You know, that wouldn't exist, right? So it's important to say aerobic walking. But yeah, free free food is really nice. That 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 is one thing. Like a lot of clubs in the very uh, like first couple weeks, they try to get you with the free food, and you can just go in there, get the free food, and dip. Right? Like you don't have to listen to them talk about stuff. Like get get the free food, get out, move on to the next club. It's okay. They they won't feel they they, they won't feel any you know resentment towards you. They know. They know that people do this. <laughs> I've seen my uni's gym though and I'm super interested in getting their on their equipment. Yeah, they, they have really nice equipment. Squat racks, um, bench presses, you know, stuff stuff that I guess well you, you would still see that if you had like a I guess a gym membership club to like one of those like you know like gold gyms or whatever. Uh, I don't know what the gyms are called. Um, but but they have, you know, pretty much everything that you would need. For a high and another time for my high school symphony. Mm, okay. All right. So so uh I mean, I, I think you got it all lined out, honestly. Hold on, I, I have to, I have to, I have to remain cooking. I can't just stand here. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna continue on with the shrimp. But, yeah, it sounds like you have everything uh, pretty much lined out in terms of what you, uh, the, all the optional stuff that you can do. And uh, I guess, you know, if, if pre-med doesn't work out, you could always, you know, become a professional violinist or a professional singer and end up on the Billboard 100. You got options. Very good. This in here, right, right, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel it though. I want the tails off. But yeah, like you know, if you uh, if you release a song or something, and you need us to boost you, uh, you know, I'd be happy to do that. Actually, record labels would probably find you first, I think. How to mix music or vocals. Oh, um, I had some experience. 
though uh, you don't want to depend on me for that because I'm, I'm terrible at uh, committing to stuff because uh, I did uh, produce music for quite a while and I stopped because uh, it was taking too much time and it was getting difficult and video editing was easier for me. Making covers, yeah. A lot of people start with that, so makes sense. And the, uh, you know, You get lucky you can even get big with just covers in themselves. And you know violin so you can actually do the instrumentals too. Man. The violin is one of those, like, uh, useful instruments, I would say. Because, like, they can be used for a variety of different, uh, you know, songs and stuff. But, like, I played flute in band in high school. And that's just, like, you know, you can't really use that in a lot of stuff. So, you know, flute's, like, one of those where, like, very, uh... It can be used in very specific stuff, and that's it, I think. Yeah, easy clap. So violin and piano are like the, the like the two that I think are most valuable. I picked the wrong instrument, and my parents didn't force me to learn piano when I was young. So that's on them, actually. Like, how can you be an Asian kid and, you know, not be forced to learn piano? Like, sure, you might end up hating it later, but it might become useful, like, you know. Like, now I actually wish I learned piano. And I'm like, hey, mom and dad, why didn't you force me and, you know, beat me to learn the piano when I was young? up with the lessons I mean but that's 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 for um, that that's a uh, that's 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 for people who like you know want the fast track I think but there's a lot of people who just like learn online like you know, I've seen a couple like piano youtubers who basically learn everything you know via like just courses online free stuff online and then just, you know, learned it. I mean, you already know violin though, so it's it's re it's really good enough. <laughs> um, so I want, I have the shrimp, uh, char gar chopped garlic, okay. And there you go. And then capers, capers. I'm gonna add them even though I don't like them. It's part of the recipe. Might as well use them. get piano and violin down then you're just a god at that point but with just the piano uh, with just the violin like you know that 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 works you know I'm sure you've heard of Lindsay Sterling you know that works <laughs> that's that's all you need and and also she doesn't sing so technically you're already better than her in a way chili paste right that's this thing I 
I'm adding half of this, not all of it. I just want a little bit of a kick. One half teaspoon of olive oil in this thing. Okay, we can do that. That is real bright red, yeah. It's hot chili crushed, hot and tangy is what it says. We only want a little bit because I think uh, uh, after we put it on the pan, like we'll need more. Oh, by the way, we need to cook the pasta. Yeah. Okay. Before we mix this, I'm gonna get a pot of water. I should really join y'all's uh, Discord sometime because I actually forgot about it. I'm, I'm in way too many Discords at this point. <laughs> it's bad. Also, I don't play Terra or like Osu, so it's like kind of weird. Maybe when um, Ilion comes out. Uh, add more water to this. Or, or uh, you can tell me when uh, movie night is happening again. Although I refuse to watch something as stupid as that uh, one movie that we watched. That, that's never happening again.
that's pretty mixed. Right? May need more salt, but uh, you know, because I always don't add enough, but we can add that later. All right. And then, we're about to cook the zucchini. So this is stream number 47. So tomorrow's 48 and then, okay, so um, next week is number 50, so uh, uh, let's do a giveaway or something next week, I guess. I don't know, like people do that, right? Like, uh, oh, number 50 or number 100, uh, we'll do something like that. If I, you know, actually figure out what I want to cook for next week. I just heard my e -pow go off. Let me go check that, actually. Alright, so this guy messages me about five times on ePal asking for sex. So, you know, I, I still get those. I, I don't know why. I, I really cannot comprehend why they want to waste time doing that kind of stuff. Um, so, so, so the water, okay. some salt not boiling okay so we can do the pasta yes yes let's do that yeah can imagine imagine bothering I mean like I, I just don't know like what they have to gain out of it because they know I'm not gonna respond to it Cause like, they're just wasting their time at this point. Like no one's gonna respond to that. <laughs> weirdos. There, there's all kinds of weirdos. You know, there's, there's weirdos that you know message me for that. There's some weirdos that message to uh, watch a really uh, weird movie about you know. Uh, I, I don't even remember what it was about. <laughs> Yes, about birds. I will learn from that experience never again. Am 
FIA for two weeks now. Aw, oh, damn, the birds got at him. I'll use uh, this uh, ladle. Yeah, uh, timer, timer, timer. Uh, do, 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 do. Seven to nine minutes. Okay, so that's that's math, 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 math. That's like seven. That that's six. That's six six uh, oh 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 four. Six six oh six oh four six oh five. Okay, that's that's when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I should move the camera to the action is. Uh, let's, let's do, let's do, let's do this. Let's do the zucchini. This is hot. Alright. A little bit of olive oil. It said not to use that much. So, I guess I won't. He's attending a wedding, but... <laughs> I mean, he could be. No, I think we need a little bit more. This isn't enough. I'll, um... Here's what I'll do. I'll, uh... Wish him a uh, happy marriage when he comes back. Okay, I fucked up really badly on these chops. Hopefully they 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 like actually cook thoroughly. Damn. I'm telling everyone to Yeah. Sure thing. Wait, but why why is a wedding two weeks long? Oh, cause like the honeymoon, he's going on the honeymoon as well. Okay, right, right, right. I forget there's always a honeymoon afterwards. Travel to um, a bachelor's party. Looks like bachelor's party is in a week and a half. No, I'm judging by the pics. Pretty long party. I wish I could be gone for that long. Take like a like a road trip. I don't know where to particularly, but like just a road trip somewhere. Like I don't I don't particularly like driving, but I'm willing to drive if it's a road trip.
Yeah, I mean, it is, it is really a vacation. is about to be done. Terrible game. Okay. <laughs> I I played Terra though, and like I didn't hate it. It's just nobody plays the game. <laughs> uh, but I guess we might all be playing Ilion soon. I, I don't know if I'll switch over from Black Desert to Ilion, but. Um, I'll, I'll create the account and then play it for a little while, I guess. But it really does seem like an exact copy of Terra in a certain way. Super small. Well, that's because, um, like, Gillian has the two, like, uh, uh, sides of the map, right? So like the bottom is basically a copy of the top, so it's really half of a map that you uh, have uh, unique content on. They say the music volume is fine, but it is way too loud. Alright, let's see how the Orzos are. <laughs> turn off the heat on this so we don't overcook. Alright, 
for definitely. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, dry these. Okay. Okay, I spilled stuff. Don't mind me. It's always off camera too. Like, I, I, I love it. Starting to smell really good though. Alright, so we're adding this to the pot of orzos. Yeah, it's it's not overcooked yet, so I think it's good. And then the shrimps are red, so so we're, we're, we're good. Um, to the pot of orzos. Alright, so. Um, that's this thing over here, which I can't pan over to. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? Alright, how about this? Does that work? Yeah, it does. Wow. Interesting. Okay, orzos are back in. I'm adding this in like so. I dropped one, god damn it. I dropped another. Oh my gosh. I need to stop doing this. Why did we have to combine it in the pot? Like, I could have just done it in the pan. This is dumb. Because now I actually have to use detergent on this pot too, because it's oily now. Okay. Cream fresh. I guess to cool it down a little bit. Alright.
But how does it taste? Could actually use a bit more salt. I wish there was butter in this recipe because I feel like it would fit. You know? It's already creamy. So, like, adding butter would, like, Lime, but recipe doesn't call for it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna let myself get in the way of this. They want me to put a little bit of lemon. So just a couple drops, I guess. Alright. Time for the big question here. Use the use the good plate or the paper plate. I'll, I'll use the good plate for this because because this does look pretty nice actually. minute ad break while I plate. Be right back. All right, massive payoff time. Let me switch mics.
Test one, two. Okay, we are working. I turn off this, so. All right. Where's my fork? It's not done yet. There's a little bit more. So for this picture, I need to clean this side of the plate. Got a little dirty with the plating. And I'm gonna fluff up the orzo rice here. I keep calling it rice, but it's technically pasta. So it looks more natural, I guess. And then... The parm. Can't forget the parm. How's that? <laughs> I think it looks it looks like the picture. <laughs> Professional play I wish, dude. I, I really don't know how um people do it on um on uh on those uh what's it called? Health Kitchen and um Master Chef. Like, cause some of them, like, they actually, like, you know, they, they, they know what looks good and they can execute it. Like, I think that I know what to, what looks good and I think I can execute it. There's, there's a lot of difference here. But yeah, at least it's, uh, Instagram, you know, worthy, I think. Uh, I'll put it on my Instagram later on. All right, then. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Your support, as always, keeping, uh, you know, keeping this entertaining for me as well. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, 5 p.m. Central. If, oh, actually, it's tentative because I, I, I might have calls tomorrow, so maybe. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.